boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, man. Um, today, we're going to do another brisket, right? So I had Money Mike over here, and uh, he came over the day after I cooked the other brisket, me and uh, uh, Smitty. And uh, ironically, he was like, man, I don't know what you did to that dog on brisket, but we're going to the store. So we went to the store and bought uh, two briskets, uh, and he wanted me to cook. So uh, I think he put one in his freezer. I got one right here. Let me show you what I got going on, y'all. I know I told you on the first first video we was just messing around. But I'm gonna ask you some. Ooh, that smells good. I'm gonna show y'all the seasoning and stuff I'm using now. Basic stuff. Y'all see this right now? I'm brining this brisket. Why? Don't need to. I'm just doing it just because I'm doing it. Um one, uh, brisket is not really forgiving. If either you cook it right or you don't cook it right. So the biggest thing for me is making sure that uh it don't dry out while cooking it as i you know learn my grill again because you know it's like i said it's been over a year so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm doing right now with this brisket it's sitting i seasoned it first with the three seasoning i'm gonna show you spg salt pepper garlic right simple um i'll show you the ratio here in a minute too um uh, so you know that so what i'm gonna do is actually let me show you this i got it all mixed in my uh get these off amazon y'all i got four of them uh, but it's already in there, mixed together. My ratio is salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, I think I did a half cup of uh, garlic, half cup of uh, uh, salt, and then uh, like very light, man. Maybe a, a third of pepper, maybe. Um, but like I said, you do it how you like. You know, if you like it spicy, uh, you add a little more pepper to give you that chokish flavor. Uh, but really, it's going to determine by your wood. You know, you can use... Uh, uh, pecan a lot of people use hickory um, and you can do that because these type of meats right here these big types of meat uh, Helps with the bark and it gives it that strong. I ain't gonna say bitter taste mesquite um, But it will if you don't know what you're doing. So play around with it I wouldn't play with it on this because these briskets right here. They costly. So all I'm gonna do is drain this water off I'm gonna come back re-season it. I'm gonna show you the plain seasoning I use like I said salt pepper garlic and then we're going to go ahead and put it on the grill. I got the grill lit, Big Bertha this time. And I promise y'all, I'm going to cook on my other grills. Uh, he just wanted his brisket. And my grill was still out there from uh, a couple days ago when I cooked. So, uh, since it's already out there, I'm going to go ahead and cook it. And I'm going to pull it back in. And then uh, we'll do some cooks on the other grills, man. So, y'all can, uh, people with smaller grills can see what they're doing too on those. So, bear with us. We'll be back, y'all. All right, we're back, y'all, man. Oh, let me show y'all these ingredients, man. Plain. Uh, black pepper, it ain't got to be this McCormick's. By no means am I selling somebody brand. Just telling you what I was using. My last cook, I used the Morton's iodine salt. Uh, and I used this right here. Smitty recommended this garlic powder. Supreme. Um, that's what they was using. And I ain't feel like driving all over the world looking for it. So I just stopped by the Walmart. And I got some of this great value garlic powder. So we're going to see if that make a difference. Make it taste better worse or whatever but this right here was a hit this combination right here so like i said those three right here is what i'm using cheap garlic powder 98 cent some black pepper salt and get them out the way mix them up in my little shaker actually i got a couple of them uh for my pork butt i mix it all together and use these hey they're great for in the house too they look pretty good um whatever so all i'm doing is seasoning and you want to season it give it a a very uh, thick coat of seasoning because uh, what you're doing is creating bark too as well and let me show you this you see this brisket I trimmed some fat off of there and that's the bottom of it um, that I'm, I'm trimming I'm gonna flip it over here in a minute once I uh, put that in and make sure y'all can see uh, what I'm doing like I said I'm gonna coat this pretty heavy and let it sit for about an hour in the refrigerator as my uh, uh, big birth to come up to temp. So all I do is I rub it in. And keep in mind, this, this fat right here, you're not gonna really eat that. Hopefully it dissolves. You wanna cut it to maybe a uh, quarter inch thick. And that, that's so you just, you know, when you, when, cause it's gonna sit on there maybe 12 hours. So um, maybe a little less just cause I know how to run my grill a little bit so I can uh, speed it up a little bit um, to make it tender. As y'all seen in my other video. So I'm gonna flip this bad boy over. Good gracious. Yeah. And you can see this one. This brisket here is the entire brisket. Last time I just had the flat. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. 
Um, I didn't go so in depth to uh, make this beautify by cutting all the silver skin off. Um, I'm going to cook it fat side up. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, choking off this dog on uh, pepper over here. But uh, as I massage this into the skin, like I said, I'm going to massage it. Come back with another coat real quick. And then uh, let it sit, man. Let it sit. You don't have to let this thing sit overnight. I do it just because that's what I'm used to. But I done learned if you have the right ingredients, especially with chicken, if you got the right ingredients, you can put it on that five minutes before and that thing, people be biting their fingers off. And I'm gonna give y'all, I ain't gonna give you my secret, but I'm gonna show y'all how to cook crack chicken. All right? That's what they called it over in the desert when I was over there. Crack chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up, like I said, uh, and put it in the refrigerator outside and let it sit. Uh, we'll be back at the grill, y'all. Got my brisket right here. Let me give y'all a close-up of it. Like I said, I hit it with the season. Let it sit for about two hours. Uh, just letting Big Bertha run. We're going to go throw this thing off in the, uh, the smoker real quick. Y'all bear with me. And then we're going to let it sit, man. We'll let it sit for about two hours. And then uh, before I do anything to it. So bear with me. Like I said, got my drip pan. You know what I told y'all? Fat side up. And let it do what it do. I'll be back, y'all. Hey, everybody, man. We back, man. Got this brisket on. If you can see real good, it's about covering at about 260. Um, exactly where I want it. Um, if I let it get down to about 225, then I got to really keep my eyes on this wood. Uh, to make sure it don't burn out as you can see you probably can see a little smoke coming out uh from the shirley fab right now and that's just because uh i was messing around talking yapping bumping my gums as usual make sure the camera lit. yeah bumping my gums and uh i got a big log on there matter of fact let me show you just so y'all see what i'm talking about uh let's open it up uh i don't know if you can see that but uh yeah I'm gonna leave it open for a minute so I can uh see I got my my damper open all the way just so it don't smoke out my meat. So this part of uh I gotta say learning your grill, but knowing how to throttle it and what to do when you get certain situations. So I put more wood on now, readjusted it so that the uh, fire catches back to it and keep my temperatures up. Like I said, I'm at 260. I'm good with that as long as my temperature stays. So without further ado, I got my head to dandy sprayer. And y'all know what I got in here. The apple juice. Let me show y'all a close up of this brisket. This the big boy here. This the flat and the point connected together. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm going to take it and spritz it. I got my drip pan in here. Just to let it go. I'm letting this thing go. It's probably gonna be a it's 13 pounder. They say an hour and a half per pound. Um, but that's if you're not wrapping an aluminum foil. So I'm probably letting this thing go about 12 hours. Uh, I am gonna wrap it though, just to speed up the pr process. Called a Texas Crutch. Google that or YouTube it for y'all that uh, don't know what that is. Called a Texas Crutch. So uh, we'll be back. Like I said, this is about two hours, two and a half hours in. Uh, I'm gonna come back at maybe the uh, six hour mark. And wrap it up depending on what my bark look like if i don't have that bark on i'm just gonna keep keep pumping that smoke to it till i it's gonna have a stupid ring on this one a smoke ring so y'all stay tuned y'all if not i'm gonna talk all day so let me go and do what i do well actually i'm done i'm gonna tame my fire keep it uh adjusted because it dropped down a little bit 225 just opening the door it'll come back up temp in a minute uh look at my truck over here y'all we'll talk about this wood in a little bit so y'all stay tuned uh, got my tongs, my aluminum foil. It's about that time in my mind, I think, anyway. I'm gonna show y'all what this brisket look like. You know, we're gonna use my uh, thermal pen here. Y'all know how this thing works. Works sideways, both ways. The MK4, I believe it is. Let me show y'all this brisket. All I'm gonna do is wrap it in aluminum foil. I'm not gonna do anything to it because I, uh, I, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Make sure you get a good look at it. 
I'm gonna bring it down on the uh, on my stainless steel table real quick. Make sure the camera's set up so y'all can see that. And I'll give y'all a close up real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna test this thing, see what uh, the temp is. It's at about 187. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing because I want it to be extra tender. Uh, my partner, I think he's gonna be, uh, he's coming to get this. Uh, when I say my partner, it's my buddy Mike. He uh, coming to get this tomorrow. So that gives me plenty of time to let it set up and let the juices soak back up in the meat. You always want to do that. That's a key note. Fun fact for the day. Let your meat, once you cook it, if you're cooking like chicken, uh, brisket, Boston butts, I'm double wrapping this, y'all. Oh, another fun fact. I know I mentioned this on another video maybe a year ago, but aluminum foil, if y'all didn't realize, the shiny side is meant for the inside. The dull side is meant for the outside. You don't believe me? Google it. Google the companies. The aluminum foil companies. So I'm gonna get this out. Like I said, this is the flat and the point. Ooh. Yeah. I might need to get two tongues, y'all. There we go. There we go. Let me let y'all see a close up real quick. So this brisket. It's been on since about 9.30 this morning. It's 4 o'clock. This thing running. Like I said, it's at about 187. Uh, I've been pumping heat to it a little higher than normal. Around 275. Uh, just because I don't want to be out here all night. On my second brisket of the week. But I'm going to wrap this up. Put it back on the grill. And then uh, I'll show you all the final product. When money might come to get it. I'm not going to open it until then. So, y'all stand by, and we'll see y'all in a little bit, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy, man. We back. Got the brisket out. It done completely cooled down. Uh, still double wrap. I got oh, man, you see. Look at the Look at the juice. You can see the juice at the bottom. So, I'm going to flip this joker over. Oh, juice. Ooh. Yeah, this is the whole brisket, y'all. Flat and the point, all together. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. You know it's gonna fall apart if I do it like this. Uh, so, yeah. Let me grab paper towel, let y'all see what a brisket look like. Look at some bark. And uh, get a little close up. We're gonna cut this thing, uh, just cut a piece of it so you can see it. And then let you go on your way. That's money, Mike, y'all. How you want to cut it, man? Show me. Uh, all right, so the key is to cut against the grain. So this one right here, you can see the threads going this way. A lot of times I cut like a piece off of it so you can look at the meat when you're cooking it and know which way the fibers run, but I can see they running this way. So you want to cut against the grain. You know what? It's in a pan. We're going to take it out. Uh, if it holds together. Hey, I can snap this thing in half, man. Yeah. Probably should be putting this on a cutting board, but whatever. Nah. Man. Yeah. You can stay here. I ain't sure. I'm just yeah. gonna cut it open. Hey, you got your big fork. Barbecue fork. That thing got a smoke ring on it too, man. Yeah. I can tell you this thing's soft. Look at that, y'all. You see the juice in there? I'm gonna drop the juice on the floor. Y'all see it? Yeah. So we're gonna cut this thing up. I'm gonna split the point in the, uh, the flat. Right here, I'm gonna split them in half and then uh, we're gonna bag this up and then uh, give Mike half of it and I'm gonna keep the other half. So, I'm gonna send y'all on your way. This your boy, Mr. B, the buddy Mike from Backyard Barbecue, messing around in the kitchen, and on the smoker, Big Bertha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, and holla at your boy.
Hey, y'all. Hey, tell them how that brisket tastes, man. Delicious. <laughs> Back up, bro. Put a clip over here. Picking off of it. You got something I can sit there. Oh, I can dump it. You're sitting in the refrigerator right now? No, I'm talking like weed. Yeah. yeah. You want to pour that juice in there? Oh, that's good. Just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to pour it out. <laughs> yeah. I want that red brisket. I like my dog. Yeah, there you have it. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, put that grease drip. I'm gonna get on. Um, what you want? A paper towel? You don't need a paper towel, mm -hmm. huh? Eat the dog over here, baby. What's up? I'm gonna mm -hmm. be nice today. Hey, look, hey, let me show y'all this. This, this flat. Look at that. Look how it come, come off. I really am. Yes, no. Yeah. Hell, give it to the dog. Man, man, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Hell, he told us the mother's go. Here you go. Come here, turn the blow. Straight up, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Mm -hmm.